for meteor shower right tonight is the geminids meteor shower so we have comets out there in space that are going orbit around the sun and whenever they get close to the sun they start to melt and have a tail that's how we know they're a comet and they leave debris behind we run through the trail of the stuff that broke off and we see meteors as they hit our atmosphere now the geminid meteor shower is a little different because what they thought was a comet is actually not a comet. It's actually from an asteroid. It was discovered in 1983. The name of the asteroid is, if I pronounce this correctly, Phaethon 3200, or maybe 3200 Phaethon. They wonder why, how this asteroid is melting and breaking apart when it gets close to the sun, and we see the meteors from it. So what they're thinking is it might be an extinct comet. It used to be a comet, but it's dead now. Japan is actually launching a probe next year, 2024, to go study Phaethon 3200. There is even a proposal to blast something right into it to cause a meteor shower so we could study the meteor shower in more depth, but that's not going to be happening. Pretty interesting that it's usually a comet that we run into and we see these meteors, but this is from an asteroid, 3200 Phaethon. It's called the Geminid Meteor Shower because the radiant point of the shower is actually looking towards the constellation Gemini. There's actually a story behind that whole constellation too. There's two main stars of it. Uh, what are they called? I did some studying before I came here. I actually brought some notes. Uh, Castor and Plaulix, I think. They're twins. One is the son of Zeus, who seduced the mother of both children. When Castor died, Pollux begged his father to make him immortal. So he's immortal up in space now with his twin brother up there. Each of the stars represents the head of each of the brothers. Forever immortal above the earth. <laughs> There sure is a lot of aircraft in this area flying over, but we'll keep trying to uh, capture some meteors tonight. I made myself a pod cozy for this trip. I made one before, I got used it up a lot and it kind of got a little destroyed and I kind of stopped using it, but I want to start doing some winter trips again. So this here will keep your food warm, your beverage warm longer in the cold weather. You can find plans to do this or ideas on a lot of YouTube videos, pot cozy, backpacking. It's basically just pipe insulation and you can get heat resistant tape, which really molds to it well. It's just about nine o'clock now and we have Gemini right in front view right now, right in front of us. And right at Gemini's feet is Orion looking straight east right in front of me here. I've seen a few meteors so far and I've been charging up the camera to get some time lapses tonight.
Hopefully I've captured some on the time lapse. I want to keep trying. I think I got a little bit left in me here. Been grabbing some scrap wood around the campsite here just to keep the fire going a little longer and going strong. I'm going to try some different angles with the time lapse here and try to get some more shooting stars. Oh, it's such a clear night, but the wind keeps coming through and it cuts through you. Let's go check the temperature right now. Looks a lot more icy and snowy now than it did in the daytime, doesn't it? Let's check this temperature. I hung it up here. Uh, we're 31. And I've seen quite a few meteors so far looking right east here. They're just zinging around. <laughs> 